but let's just go ahead now and um, finish off the rest of the head okay let's just select these verts over here um, what I might do is I'll just extrude this out like so and then just position these out nicely try and keep it looking straight so that's one of the strengths of retopology. It, it allows us to um, focus purely on the topology without having to worry about the modeling side of things. Because in the olden days, in, in, in addition to worrying about the topology, you had also have to worry about the placement of these vertices. Like, do you know how you wouldn't know how much, how far to pull this out, or how much to pull this in, things like that. Whereas that's all done now in sculpting, so that you only focus purely on the topology itself, thus speeding a lot of time and also giving you as the uh, the artist a lot of freedom in uh, creating 3d characters So it allows you to be a lot more creative than before Okay, so we have we create something that looks like that Okay, so let's just go and create the loops that go around the ear. So let's just extrude this out scale it in I'm just going to turn off the uh, this so that I can see better. So I just click that uh, limit selection tool over here. I just want to extrude it out. So rotate a little bit. Extrude it out. Rotate some more. Extrude it out. So things like this. This would be very, very uh, finicky if you didn't have your sculpted mesh already ready. If you're just doing this from scratch. So it's quite handy that the retopology tools um, handles all of this for us. Okay, so let's just scroll that up, and then let's just finally complete, oh, complete it, like so. And then we just add in one more loop over here, just to define that jawbone area. And it should simply now be a case of selecting everything here, and just extruding it out. And rotating. Let's move this out over here, this out over here, like so. See the squares over here are getting much bigger, so obviously bigger squares mean less vertex data, which also means less detail, but at this stage I don't really care too much about that because obviously we're not going to have too much detail when it comes to the top of the head because most of this stuff is only going to be covered by hair. Actually, to make it simple, for just for now, I'm just going to remove this edge. So just delete that edge, and then just select this this loop over here. From the top view, I'm just going to press S S Y, just to straighten it out a little bit, and then just move it outwards a bit more. Looking good. Uh, let's select this vertex here. Let's make it a bit more even. Let's move this out a bit more. Okay, so basically what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and just keep extruding out, out, and out like that until I go around the side of the head. So I'm just going to put this in time-lapse mode because obviously this part is going to take some time while I just keep tweaking the vertices. It's important as well as my advice as well when it comes to uh, 3D modeling. Even when you do retopology, it's important that you still keep uh, touching every single vertice. Keep doing touch-ups with every single one. Um, don't let the computer handle 100% of it. Okay, so while I do that, I will put this video into time-lapse mode. Okay, so once you've uh, extruded all the way down like that, um, simply just fill up the faces. So just select this edge over here, F, 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 oh, that's not enough. Um, I might just add in one loop over here. Then fill it up. Like so. That should be okay for now. Let's finish off the, uh, the chin. So for the chin, I'm just going to extrude this this bit out once, like so, uh, and then uh, fill this up with a face, 
Oops. So there's something else. Okay, so we have something like that. Now I'm just going to go ahead simply and um, let's f uh, fill up the the chin with a loop. So, so there's something like that, like that, like that, and like that. So we now have a loop that's going around the bottom of the chin. Oops. So let's fill this full up with a face. Sorry, wrong one. Like so. Um, let's see how much vertices we need over here. Let's move, sorry. Let's move this to the side. Let's add in a loop over here. Let's fill these two. Let's fill that. Uh, let's add in one more loop over here. And let's fill in that. And that. Okay. And I might just go ahead and add in one loop over here just to make everything a bit more square. Alright. So that's looking good. Okay, so now it's simply just a case of connecting the dots. So let's fill this up with a, a square. Let's add in a loop over here. Let's fill this up. Might move this out a bit more. And maybe we'll just fill this up as well. Okay, let's just try to create a bit more of an even line. Okay, so we've now done the whole head. So just to, to finish up the neck, simply just extrude out. And, oops, uh, this can be a bit tricky. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the magnet tool for now, and then move it around. Then it will act uh, normal. So for now, I'm just gonna turn off that magnet tool. So that'll be pretty handy. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and keep extruding it out until we have the full neck. Cool. So we've now completed, I think now we should have com a completed head model. So I think these vertices are too bunched up together. So let's just move these because these squares are too big. So at this stage, if I just uh, hit the dash key on my um, numpad, we have a completed head model, which looks pretty cool. So let's just finish it off with an ear as well. So for the ears, I'm simply just going to start with a loop, alt right click, just like that loop, then press shift D and then move it out. So that'll duplicate the uh, loop that we selected, then scale it down and then put it to right about where the eardrums are, like so. So I'm just going to position it around where our eardrums will be. And then simply just E to extrude, scale up, reposition, I don't care too much about the topology of the ear as much because technically when it comes to animation or even texturing there's not really much that this uh, that the ear will do unless you want to animate the character's ears bending and deforming in weird and wonderful ways um, I generally keep the topology quite uh, simple and not really geared to animation So let's just keep these ones bunched up a bit. Extrude that one small, scale it up, and then just move it out towards the ring. Okay, 
Okay, if you notice this strange coloring going on over here, like this weird shading, just select all the vertices, then go into shading UVs and click normals recalculate. If that doesn't look right, again, like in this case, just select the ear itself and just press flip direction. And then it should look okay. Alright, so that's that. Now to finish it off, I'm just going to go ahead and reconnect, uh, go ahead and connect that and fill this to with a face. Just to start connecting the ear a bit. And then over here we'll start to add in the outline. Of the ear. So just keep extruding it out. And then fill that up. So I'm just going to go ahead and select this. Fill, 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 fill. By pressing F. And then just select this. Oops. Select this loop over here. Let's just extrude it out. Oops. Extrude it out. Move this in place over here. Move that in place there. Let's fill one, two, three, four. Fill that. It's a bit messy, but I don't have a, a proper. I don't have. I don't really have a, a good technique when it comes to ear topology. So I tend to go with whatever. Fill that with a face. Fill that with a face. Fill that with a face. Okay, so let's just select these three. Extrude it out. Fill that with a face. And that. And just keep doing that until you cover the full ear. In this case, for my case, it's worked. Sometimes if it doesn't work for you, you may need to uh, add extra loops in here. But I guess because I, I duplicated the, the loops, it has the same number of vertices, it just ended up matching in number. Okay, so I think let's now go ahead and tweak it a bit more. Let's have a look at that. what that looks like on its own. Yeah, it's looking alright. Doesn't look too bad. For a cartoony ear, that's I think that's good enough to get away with. If you're doing a, a photorealistic ear, then this topology is not so good. But I think because I'm doing cartoony, I can get away with quite a bit. So let's just select that vertice, uh, the, that loop over here. Just to finish off the ears, I'll um, extrude out once more, scale it down, push it in quite a bit. Actually, we'll, we'll look at that part a little bit later. Later on, I think. But uh, yeah, I'll just one, two, three, four. Fill that up with a face. The topology here, technically speaking, doesn't matter. It will be hidden from our camera view. So I think I can get away with dodgy topology here. Feel, but I'll still try my best to keep it a quad kind of a workflow. Ah, it just happens to be all quads over here so that just works out for me in this case but if it doesn't if you have like an extra vertice over here doesn't matter just fill it up because th this part won't be seen any pinching effects and things like that will be hidden from view uh, because we'll, later on we'll be moving this part of the eardrum way in, deep into the ear so you won't see any of that stuff okay so at this point we have a completed head model so if you managed to make it this far i would suggest you to pat yourself on the back drop everything and go and grab yourself a cup of coffee because you've just remade your character model that is optimized for character animation and rigging and even texturing. If you'd rather just get the completed 3D model, please click on the link below. And also please subscribe, like and share and I hope to see you in the next video.